Hey guys, it's Takani, and today I'm going to be telling you about the beige baby trend. The beige baby trend started out as a way for mothers to introduce more beige, natural, and the common colors into their children's lives. As well as finding toys that are more natural and non-toxic and not filled with paint. Just a reminder, don't harass anybody in these videos. This video is just for fun and to explain my take on the beige baby trend. Also, I am not a parent. I have fur babies. So take my opinion with some salt. <laughs> this is the beige baby trend aesthetic. You have toxic free. You have natural. You have calming. You know, you've got the wood colors, the greens, the beige, the reds. I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, parents fighting the you only have a childhood once trend were overstimulated by all of these colors and loud toys and, you know, just stuff. <laughs> I can't find any of the you only have a childhood once trend stuff of like the parents like shrouding their children in colorful, beautiful, bright, and like overstimulating rooms. Um, so I don't know if that happened in this timeline yet. Uh, <laughs> they saw the beige baby trend as a way to protect their children from the overstimulation simulation that is life. Instead of embracing the beige baby trend and following what is the goal, natural soft and light colors still colorful but not covered in freaking paint silicone easy to wash cute wooden toys they decided to embrace the trend not just for the nursery but for the whole baby's life i'm talking the freaking little tykes car the freaking little tykes car you see this an absolute classic in our childhoods the funnest car you know it's got the eyeballs it's got the freaking door that you open you got you got the flintstone feet running around they beige babied it you see this this they beige babied it new toys beige new clothes beige little tykes car beige although this one's actually pretty cool i like this one it's even got a little surfboard <laughs> but like you know, I mean, it's pink. <laughs> it doesn't really count as beige. But why are you, like, painting it? I really hope that they use non-toxic paint, right? <laughs> Brace yourself, my brethren and sisterin and everything in between. This one is going to hurt. They took our red and green Christmas colors and made them freaking beige. Look at this. Look at this. Look at her buying all this paint. Look what she did. And she's asking if she should do it to the freaking train. Look at this. Look at this. They took away our red and green Christmas colors. And I just don't know if I can forgive that, man. They're in our freaking Sims games. A sad beige baby room for your sad beige children. Someone's sister would call their aesthetic the Band-Aid aesthetic. Pretty much. <laughs> You think I'm joking. I know you think I'm joking. But brace yourself for this. Now, do you think it stops at the toys? Do you think it stops at the clothes? Does it stop at the freaking room? No! They're feeding the kids beige! 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 Except for this right up here. This is, this is green. I respect that. Give your kid applesauce. But the inside? Beige! It's beige. Even the food is bland and beige. These children need some color in their lives. And technically that's white, not beige. But it's fine. Do they know what strawberries are? Do they know what flavor is? Get your kids some color stat. That's what I'm talking about. Now, beige mothers, hear my pleas. Khakis wants their color back. You're putting them out of business because we're all scared of beige now. That's all. Goodbye. Thanks for hanging out with me while I talk about the beige baby aesthetic. So if you like this content and you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting when I post. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that you're absolutely amazing. The world is better with you in it. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Goodbye.